In this video, we'll be going over alert preferences. Global alert preferences can be configured in the preferences dialog by clicking configure, preferences, alerts, and from here the following fields will allow us to configure the preferences. So if we change this to left, when I place my alert, the label is now to the left. If I cancel this alert, if I go back, click on alerts again, change this to middle. Now when I create an alert, the default has changed to middle. And of course we also have the option of changing this to right, which is typically the default. Okay, create alert. And now the label is on the right. So here we have the alert button the alert label and the alert line. So if we go back, configure, preferences and alerts, we have show buttons, label and lines. Any changes here, again, will become the new defaults. So if I decide, for instance, to remove the label and the button and only show the line, if I click OK, let's cancel this alert. And now if I place a new alert, you'll notice that only the line shows. Now the defaults that we selected will be reflected in the panels here, the alert and advanced. So in this case, if we go over to advanced, we'll notice that these selections here match what's in the default settings that we set. Now, of course, if we want to make changes to this individual alert, we can always make the changes individually. Okay, but if we place another alert, you'll notice here that it will take on the default set in the configure alerts panel. Okay, so let's cancel this and let's cancel this. Configure, preferences, alerts. We have show alert and play sound and send email. For the first two, of course, if we select show alert and play sound, then an alert will be shown as it's triggered and a sound will play. And let's show that really quickly. So let's just set an alert. Uh, actually, let me make sure. Just double check what settings I have here. Okay, which is fine. Let's go back. Create the alert, click OK, and now if we trigger it, you'll notice that a sound played and an alert window showed. So let's click on close. Let's go back. Configure preferences over to alerts. We have the option if we go back to turn these two off, click OK. Let's trigger the alert again. And now we have no sound and no alert window. OK, so let's go back, configure preferences, alerts. Now with email, send email, there's a separate video for that, but you would have to configure your email in order to receive an email upon the alert trigger. You have the option in the email to attach an image, which is a screenshot of the current chart where the alert was triggered. Here we have Disable Alert window, which is the window that we just saw. If I were to have many alerts set that had Show Alert initially set, then what Disable Alert window does is that by selecting this, when the alerts are triggered, the alert window no longer shows. So instead of having to go to each individual alert and turning it off, by selecting this, we can automatically globally set to turn that alert window off. Here we have max history. By default, it's set to 10 days. So any of your historical alerts here. So if we were just to trigger, let's just trigger one really quickly. So anything here would be retained going back up to 10 days. 
or whatever you have set here in the max history field. Show alert history on chart. This would be the alert history, the actual icon with the details. Configure uh, references. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the alert order warning. Click OK. Let's set an alert with an order. Click OK. This is the order that you would see. So this is the alert order warning. If you turn it off, you will not see this anymore. The same thing if you were to click on here, it would turn it off. Let's click OK. Let's go back. Alerts. The alert deactivate warning. This shows a warning if closing a chart that has active alerts. So for instance, if you have trend line based alerts or other component alerts, Motive Wave requires those charts to be open in order for those alerts to be tracked to trigger. If you close those charts, you will get a warning if this is selected. Because if you close them, then MotorWave can no longer keep track of what's happening with those components and the alerts will be lost. Then we have show warning on clear alert history. Let's take a look at that. So if we go over the history here in our history panel for alerts and then we click on the trash can icon for clear alerts history, we get the warning here. This warning also gives you the option to select do not show this warning again in the future. And if we click yes, they will no longer show. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.